So you have this awesome idea for a Python project, but you realize that in order to build it, you need access to specific data which you just don't have. This is where web scraping using Python can be super helpful. Web scraping allows you to programmatically retrieve data from the web or websites. Maybe you want to resell cars, but instead of waiting for a good deal to become available, you get smart about it and you build a program that scrapes popular classified sites and alerts you when a really good deal becomes available. This way you could snag up that deal before anyone else. Or maybe you just want to know when the price of Bitcoin drops so you could be filthy rich. Whatever your reason for web scraping is, let me show you how to do it. Learn the basics of HTML. The reason I decided to make this video was because not too long ago, someone messaged me for help with their web scraping project. Now, after chatting back and forth for a few minutes, I realized that they didn't have any experience with HTML, and that was making the whole process a lot harder for them. You see, when it comes to scraping information from websites, you need to know how that page is structured. And in the web world, structuring a page is done using HTML. For example, if I want to add an image to a website, I will do that using an image tag with a reference to a local or remote image. This is helpful to know because if you're trying to scrape images from a website, you know to look at image tags. In addition, the same logic applies to anything you want to scrape. If you're trying to scrape a list of countries, you know that most likely that information will be inside a list element. And if you want to get text from a website, that information might be in a header or in a paragraph element. If you don't have any experience with HTML, I would recommend checking out Mozilla's Getting Started Guide for HTML. It's a really good resource that covers pretty much everything you need to know about HTML, and you can literally learn HTML within an hour or less. The link to that will be in the description below, and don't forget to click the next button at the end of every page to go to the next lesson, Web Developer Tools. Now that you know HTML, you need a way to know how a specific page is structured. Now, the really cool thing is that for any website online, the code is actually open source, meaning you could actually see the HTML, the CSS, and the JavaScript that is used to build that website. There are two ways to view this information. The first way that should work on any modern browser is right clicking on the website and clicking on view page source. This will show you all of the HTML that is used to structure that website. However, as you can see from this example, it's not the best user experience. It's just a bunch of text that might not be super helpful to you. Instead, we have web developer tools. The most straightforward way to access this is right clicking on the page and clicking on inspect element. Right away, you should be able to see how much of a better way this is to look at a website's HTML. It has a bunch of interactive features like the select tool that lets you select an element on a website and instantly see the HTML for that element requests and beautiful soup. Okay, so now you have all of the information you need to actually scrape a website, but how do you do that programmatically using Python? Well, by far the most popular way of doing that is using a combination of the requests and beautiful soup library. These can be installed using pip like this, and then you can import them into your Python project like this. The requests library is used to get the actual HTML from a page like this, and the beautiful soup library is used to parse the HTML and extract the information you need like this. Obviously, both the request and beautiful soup library are a lot more extensive with what they can do. So definitely be sure to check out their documentation for the rest of their features. JavaScript powered sites. With the rise of popularity of single page web applications or just JavaScript heavy applications, you will sometimes find that when you try to parse HTML from a page, you won't get the result you expect. This might be because the web application you're scraping doesn't actually load with all the HTML at once. Instead, it loads with a very small amount of HTML and then later on, the rest of the HTML gets added to the page dynamically using JavaScript. For those situations, I would recommend you check out the request HTML library, which which has JavaScript support. Or something that might be even better is checking out Selenium. Selenium is not a web scraping tool, but rather is a browser automation tool. However, for the case where you need to click on a button before you can get the data you want, as you would for a model or a sitemap, Selenium lets you automate that process and afterwards lets you retrieve the HTML you need for that page. So even if you just want to get the HTML after a page has been loaded, Selenium lets you do that with JavaScript support. Now you've heard it before, with great power Power comes great responsibility. And even though web scraping is not illegal, as all the data is public, you should be courteous of how you go about actually getting this data. You see, every time you make a request to get the HTML for a website, you're actually taking up server resources. So instead of pinging the website every second to retrieve a bunch of data, 
Maybe try doing it every 10 seconds or even throughout a longer period of time. It should be noted that some websites will actually rate limit you if you're pinging their websites too many times or they will even blacklist your IP if you're excessively doing it. And if you're not sure about scraping a specific website, it doesn't hurt to check their policy to see if they have anything against it. Ultimately, just use your best judgment. If the information you're scraping is meant to be sensitive information and you plan to distribute that in some public manner, maybe it's not the best idea. So hopefully this video helps you get started with web scraping using Python. All of the code snippets you saw in this video will be linked down below in the description. And if you're new around here, welcome. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe and then check out this video over here where I personally thank you for joining the channel with your name in the video. And if you want to learn something else, check out this video over here that YouTube thinks you might like.